Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to share with you a video showing you the items that I took with me on my summer vacation. My vacation was about a week and now that I look at it, it was way too much. I brought with me too many things and I will share with you what I actually used. Um, right off the bat, this pouch here, it's pretty neat. It has three compartments, uh, two outer ones and they're mesh so you can see what's inside. Uh, this I purchased uh, from Daiso and this is the main compartment here. I like it because it's nice and light and it also has, <coughs> excuse me, it also has handles so you can carry it around. If you don't need to use the handles you can just tuck them in and then you can zip it right up. And then I have the Delphonics pouch which I've done a video many 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 moons ago. I don't know actually when I did it but uh, you can check out the original video of the Delphonics pouch. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly uh, take out some of the things, or I'll take out what I what's inside here in these two pouches to share with you what I uh, brought with me, and then I'll share with you what I actually used. So let's start off with this pink one. It's going to be a long video, um, so if you want to, please feel free to grab a drink or something. In this pouch here I just took some clear stamps and I wanted to I decided to choose stamps that um, I could use for dating my pages my I usually end up not journaling at all while I'm on vacation but because I knew um, it was going to be a little bit slow like we were going to take it easy we didn't have too many things planned I knew that I would have some downtime and so I decided to take these things with me so I took these two stamp sets. I did not really use this. Um, and this one I used a little bit, but not really. So in hindsight, now that I think about it, maybe I really didn't need to bring these. Then of course I have my acrylic block. And some washi tape as well. Okay, my apologies in advance if there's a lot of <laughs> There's a lot of uh, fighter jets that are flying above uh, my house and it happened yesterday. I think it's, I don't know, if it's, maybe it's because um, North Korea and their missile, but um, I'm going to try and speak over it or maybe I'll just um, skip those parts, I'll, like I'll cut them out. In this, on this side pouch here, I just have some journaling cards, which I didn't end up using at all. I. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't use them. They're so pretty. I just thought maybe I can take these with me and journal on them and then put them in as tippins into my regular journal, but I didn't use them at all. Um, but so there's that. And then this is the main compartment here. Start off with this one. I decided um, to bring my Copics with me. I thought maybe I could do some coloring. I actually bought a coloring book while I was on vacation and I rarely use the uh, Copic markers, unfortunately. This pretty, pretty pen pouch is from Hedge Grow and I received it as a gift from Laura. And these are just some of the Copic markers. <laughs> no, it's a little bit excessive. Um, I'm still learning and I'm still um, a beginner at the Copics. I've learned that uh, the coloring book isn't really Copic friendly. So anyways, I don't want to get off on, on, on a tangent there, but I didn't bring, I didn't use my Copics as I thought I would. And because I knew I was going to have some downtime, I brought a bunch of letters so that I could reply and I did end up, um, I was able to reply to some of the pen pal letters, but not all of them. So I'm not going to show you these because these are just um, some letters that I need to reply to. <laughs> but I'm really glad that I did bring these with me. Uh, and then I brought uh, the Midori paper pad. Okay, moving on to stamps again. This wooden stamp set I didn't use at all. I don't know why I didn't use it. I Maybe because I thought, um, I don't know, I just thought it was a hassle to take them out and have to clean them later. I don't, I'm not too sure why I thought that, but uh, I didn't use the wooden stamp set. I think for the most part, like titles and things, I just wrote them in. Uh, I also, oh, 
what I did use a lot was the Tim Holtz uh, stickers for titles. I did use this. This is the Smash. What is this called? Smash. Um, the roller date stamp. I did use this. And of course, here I brought. <laughs> I thought I was going to do some planning, but I actually didn't do end up. I. I actually thought I was going to be able to do some planning in my traveler's notebook, but I, I wasn't able to do that. I was going to bring, um, my intentions were to finish off with the labeling of the months, which I didn't end up doing. I did use this. This is the sticker book holder. I used some stickers. It was really convenient to have that. Uh, and this, oh, this is so lovely. This is a travel uh, junk journal that my friend Rachel scrap in love she made for me um, so I keep I kept in here like the little ephemera bits and the scrap pieces of paper that I wanted to use um, you can see there I did use a bit of stamping here I will have another video maybe I don't know if it's gonna be up before this one but I uh, I did film a journal with me in here so I will post a link below if uh, it's already up but yeah I still have maybe half more to go like half uh, half like I've, I've already documented half of the summer trip this is so pretty uh, so I did bring this with me of course so that I could work in here uh, during my holidays it's really nice it even has like these nice pockets in the front and the back so that I could tuck in any uh, ephemera memorabilia things Next, um, I don't know why I bought this. I wanted to use this for, I guess, my junk journal, but I rarely used it. I, yeah. Um, and then this one is a big acrylic block with a little holder. Didn't use it. This, I really, really like this. I cannot take credit for this idea because I first initially saw this idea on uh, Gina. She's uh, the Rebookery, she's from the Rebookery channel. I will link her information down below. Um, and this is a traveler's notebook from Lady Falcon Travelers that I purchased. I love the color. And I saw Gina's channel a while back. She had these traveler's notebook inserts uh, with just scrap pieces of paper. And she brings those uh, notebooks with her and then she just tears pieces out she just tears pieces uh, of paper that she needs to use so for example this scrapbook paper there I just used from this you can see there I tear it off right there all you have you don't even have to make an actual insert let me take out the papers here it's really simple. You just have a your traveler's notebook. You have your pieces of paper that you want to use in your junk journal or your journals. You don't even have to stitch them in together and that's the beauty of it. You just slide them under the elastic here. You just slide it under. So let me show you with this one here. And then you have your scrapbook or scrap pieces of paper with you at all times. Um, I didn't keep much with regards to notes. Uh, I thought I would be journaling in here with my daily notes. I actually ended up taking my Midori notebooks and then I journaled in those instead. Um, but anyways, yeah, it, I love this idea. It's, it was just perfect. Uh, I didn't have to take too many papers with me, just the pe just the select pieces of paper that I thought would go with this uh, travel junk journal, and I used a whole bunch. You can see there, I used a whole bunch of things. Um, I really, really liked the idea. So thank you, Gina. I don't know if she's watching, but thank you uh, for that wonderful idea. So I brought that with me, uh, this traveler's notebook. 
And then the last thing in here is this pen pouch, uh, pen roll, sorry. Uh, this is by Superior Labor and I purchased it from Nomado store online in Belgium. They had one of those uh, sales. And here is just my watercolors, um, some pens and things. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, I did use these items. I could have, like, I could have just selected a few things because I didn't use all of them, but um, I did have the pen roll with me. And of course, I'm always happy to have uh, the pen roll with me because it has pretty much everything that I need. So this is the Defonics pouch. I don't really have anything on the outer pockets. I don't want to go through everything in here, but of course I used my adhesive items, my glue stick for sure, sometimes my tape runner, um, some ink, and the clips to hold my journal open, the chamois to clean off the stamps I used, um, this one, sorry, I don't think I brought this with me. This is, I just, um, I had a meetup with, uh, I had a meetup with the girls, so I brought this with me, um, this Delphonics pouch, but I don't think I brought this with me to my summer holidays. This I used often. I used this as my, uh, for my titles, for my little titles and like little sayings, I use this often. And of course my ink pad there. Um, if I'm not going to be watercoloring, that takes away a lot of items, like a, a lot of items that I would bring. So let me just quickly take out some of the must-have items. So I guess this would be like my must-have items. My traveler's notebook with uh, note-taking and some scrap pieces of paper. Of course, the travel journal. Um, I did use the washi tape, so if you have some washi tapes that you really, really like to use, maybe you can put them on like a credit card, like an old credit card or old gift card, and bring the washi samples with you so you don't have to bring a whole bunch of rolls. Used the date, uh, glue stick, pen, the scissors I used often, really nice and compact scissors, oops, pins to hold the traveler's notebook open, an ink pad, uh, just for this I guess, <laughs> and I, I, I mean it doesn't hurt to bring something simple like these, uh, it's not too bulky and they're very light so you can bring like an alpha set or a set that has like multiple things. Love this so much, I use this. And of course the chamois to clean off uh, any ink from the ink pads. And that's it. I guess these would be like my main... I should have just brought this. I should have really thought about it in advance. Uh, but I just didn't have time. I just quickly grabbed everything and I put them in bags and just left. So. Anyways, what are some of your travel essentials? Please do leave a comment down below. I would love to know um, if there's like something that you always use. Anyways, that really came out of nowhere. That was really loud. I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, if you have a travel essential that you, you know, you always have to bring with you when you go away somewhere, uh, please leave them. Um, leave it in the comments down below. And yes, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.